So you guys seemed to enjoy the video so much when we went through the unit with the comic book hoarder house. If you watched the original videos, we also bought the comic book hoarder storage unit, same owner. But I think a lot of this stuff might have been stuff that he had in the store or stuff that just um, like part of his collection. So this unit is 10 by 25, it's super stacked high. This is the first time we opened it up in two years. It got dusty here, Dan, but that's okay. We can clean it off. So what are we gonna do today? We're probably gonna do two or three videos of these. We're gonna go th through, see what we find. We're gonna pull stuff for the store. If I remember right, I think we put a bunch of comic books on the right side and on the end over here. And I think those were the ones that we found in the corner in the original video where we said most of those are 12 cents. So this video will have a lot of comics, toys. We're just gonna look, we'll see what we see. I got Tatiana with me, she's behind the camera. So she's gonna come in front of the camera. It's funny, Susan mentioned her name in video. She's like, oh. <laughs> me? It's funny. <laughs> My little like, girl. That was like John Candy right there. Good. You like that? Yeah. She's like, oh. Improv. So, uh, and then I got my buddy Dustin. He works for me. You know, he's been working with me off and on for like seven years now. I still can't get a freaking bargain hunter shirt on when he comes to work, you know? It's like, give him another. You know what? Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's a good guy. But it would be nice if you bring a bargain hunter shirt to work. Maybe next time. Okay. All right. So we're going to go through. We just got to keep this natural. Um, you guys voted that you want longer videos, so we're just gonna go through and hopefully we find there's gonna be some teasers, but this should be fun. I don't think it's gonna be as good as the other one, but then I got, I don't know yet, and we still have the other one 90%, and then we have two more like that, so let's have some fun. You ready? We good? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna work on the right-hand side because I really remember that as, I think we put 12 cents comics there. Hopefully the back here, we're gonna find them. Check out all these old gumball machines. There's four of them. He probably had those in the store. Um, they, it looks like they might be missing keys and stuff. But they have old toys in them. So Dustin, take those four, put them on a truck. We're gonna, those going to go to the store. Also, at the same time, because this is store stuff, so stuff that's just so-so, I think that we stuff that we can process a little bit faster, we're just going to load up from the store. While Dustin loads these, we're going to look at carts. Oh, people ask us for these all the time. Whoa, look how mint condition these are. Very Do you already check? I, I can tell. Garbage Pail Kits, 1986. But it's all stickers, so these are probably going to come. Look how mint they are. And then these are Alien. And uh, Pitcher, Tuck McGraw. Baseball cards. Oh, here's more Garbage Pail. Are, are they all stickers? Yeah. Those okay. are third. That might be second. Hey, you know what? All, 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 I, all I need to do is for them to be worth a buck a piece on Comsy. I'm happy. Yeah. Because if they're worth a buck a piece, which is like a minimum thing, cost me 30 cents. So it's not even to be a buck 30. So, I mean, there's a few hundred in here. Not first series. <coughs> but look how good this condition is. Yeah, the colors are really good. Yeah, actually go put these in the driver's front seat. Make sure they're not in the sun. These are going to go to Com C. Um, on the next Q&A after this video, you guys can ask me about this if you care. I want to know what happened to these. Are you going through these or are you um, loading them? These were just going to load up, but it looks like he loaded these up with old toys. So... I mean, there's some old soldiers. There's actually cool stuff in here. Let's see. I'll, I'll pay you $5 if you eat the gumbo. Thank you. To be honest, like, she's a... I have really bad allergies today. That's God telling you to quit trying to make your dad eat old food. <laughs> want a moldy run? No. Oh, gosh. But look, here's like old stuff. And look at this. Made in Japan. There's kaleidoscopes. Oh, good. Oh, it works. That's cool. There's a little plastic soldier or coach. That's cool. Barouche. Oh, that's probably French. That's cool. Um, no keys on those? No. Okay. See. Make sure we don't lose the key to this one. This is a nice full machine. This machine will get, uh, probably put like $79.99 on it. I'm surprised that there's no, like, um, the color hasn't changed on the gumballs because it's probably hot. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's not directly in the sense, so. So I think some of this stuff in the beginning is not as exciting, but I mean, like I said, you know, there's just so much stuff and we didn't look that close. So here's some action figures. These, these are older. Oh, doesn't that look like John Reagan? I mean, Ronald Reagan? <laughs> Ronald Reagan, John Reagan, his brother. Hey, I never said the president, I said his brother, okay? <laughs> yeah, just put that in the, in the back seats. It's a they... cool little thing to hold your toys. Huh? It's cool to hold your toys in that. Oh, my baby still likes toys. 
the world holds your toys. These uh, 1980s. It's a whole box of them. Jeff Turner, Padres. So he has them by teams. These are all Padres players from the 80s. Put this uh, in the back so no sun. Okay. Some of this stuff was just sent to Comsey Prime. Uh, like I said, guys, this is the first time in two years. Tatiana said, oh, daddy, get this box. I looked, I cheated, it's good. So we're gonna look just to, uh, just to make the Nana happy. <laughs> or oh, AKA Stinky. So this looks like steel figurine set by Applause. Oh, I thought it was Captain America. Okay. Little action figures. Yeah, probably five, ten bucks. Throw them to the store. We'll scan them when we get to the store. Could be more, you never know, but minimum. Like when I tell you guys prices, I usually try to go with like the bottom prices. So this way, uh, nobody yells at me, my feelings get hurt. Yeah, just put this off to the side. Thank you. Um, you. No, you know what, just stack along here. Cause we're gonna, I, I'm gonna take some stuff that we're gonna price right away and then other stuff we'll just go later. Okay. And then stuff that's so so we'll see like I really want to I'm hoping the 12 centers are in here. But we I mean I know they're in here, we just gotta find them. I have another seven or eight thousand 12 centers on my house already. Oh, so the other day, did, did you watch that video with it? No, I you, you, you'd have loved it. We're going through paperwork and finding all kinds of killer stuff. Nice. Some oh, kind of Batman cool. display. Some kind of store display. Uh -huh. You know what? Oh, you know what? I think I just seen something. We found this gun. A lot of people were telling me they think it's like a, um, it's a movie prop, but I think I just seen the picture. Oh, that's cool. Uh, uh, Superman cards. Yeah. Planet of the Apes. Okay. Space 1999. Cool. Probably for Comsey. And I haven't sent nothing to Comsey. We're about to start. Here we go. Oh no, it's not. That almost looked like it right here. But this is, um, what is this? It's a uh, journey, or um. Last in Space? Yeah, something like that. Oh, here, 1961 rookie, Ken Hunt. Ron Muller. Mickey Mantle, he didn't make anything. Nah. Oh, Star Wars sticker cards. Oh no, these are Battlestar Galactica sticker cards. Grease cards. This is all great stuff. Cool, 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 cool. retirement, here we come. Stamp albums, rough condition, but still, this whole box is stamp, stamp, stamps. Okay, pack this back up and just move it. Actually, pack this back up, move to put the trading cards up front. Okay. Be careful with these displays. Just okay. put them inside the book. The stamps leave here. We're not putting the stamps in the store. Okay. I'm taking too much work to process. A little display case. Okay, that just goes in the store. We'll price it. So, and every time you get to a clip to about like 30 minutes, we'll take a stop, okay? Alrighty. So it's easy to edit. Baseball Legends re Regional Runner Up. This is Cop. We'll just put up to the store. Hey, hurry up. I need my display space. Let's go. Let's move it, Team Bargain Hunters. Let me rip that. Rapido or Yeah, yo. School supplies. Oh, yay. <laughs> this is all stamped, right? I, I think this whole book is stamped, yeah. Okay. We just, we really working towards this corner right here. But you know, we're looking for stuff because we just don't know. Oh yeah, we have these. Oh, these sound good. You found out about me. See, I, I seen it, I just didn't feel like, I thought it was stamps. Old pictures. Oh, that's cool. Postcards. US commemoratives. There's more stamps in here. US commemoratives. Yeah. If you find like really old stamps, are they worth money? Really, really old and really conditioned, but stamps really, really went down in value. Just leave it in there. Gotcha. Here's Yusaki Yojimbo. Are they signed? Stan Sakai. Um, you know what? It's probably a good chance that they signed because this he was friends with this guy. I found a lot of pictures where he was hanging out. And he has a lot of signed, like, like a lot of stuff ended up being signed. Yeah, we have a lot of those at our store. And he has these yellow stick. Oh, no, that's the mean. <laughs> Take a uh, yeah, because we're just gonna price these. Or they're probably just gonna go in the trash, to be honest. I'm just trying to get stuff to make more room here, so we can work in the unit a little bit better. Also, here these are all signed, so more signed copies of books, signed copies. 
Yeah, we can take these. We'll process these pretty fast. The comic book guys will be all happy. Actually, most of the signed stuff that we put in the store sold already. Just make sure so like anything that stays on top, like it either gets sealed or put it up front. Okay. See, just I promise you, we're gonna have a fun day. Even though it's kind of hot today, this is still a fun day, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, Every day is a fun day. Uh -huh. Oh shit! <laughs> what do you want? GI Joe. Nice. Oh, okay, good. We need this. Get ready for combat. Put that in the back seat. Um, we gotta take that to the store. I think that thing. Um, that should be some 100 to 200 dollars, right? Yeah. So big. that's a big one. Space shuttle. And it isn't the. It should lift. Yeah, it lifts. I remember it lifting it and launching up. That's kind of cool. That's cool. Yeah. I don't think we have room in the back. Uh, Maybe. You want me to just secure it back here? Okay, we'll put it on the end. So just put it underneath there by the shade and we'll put it on at the end. Okay. If you guys got thirsty and need water, I mean, we brought waters, but it means 7 Eleven right there, so. I'm thirsty. Okay. I'm just kidding. Brave and bold number 18. Uh, Legos, old car. So he has a lot of boxes that just have small stuff in there. But you have to go through. We started going through them, so it'll be like, it'll just be like, it looks like jibber, but then you'll find red lines or dinky toys or G.I. Joe's. It's like there's no, like this is an old one. There's no rhyme or reason, so. But a lot of, like I said, a lot of stuff is the store stuff. Who knows? Ugh, this box is packed. You know, get off all those posters off and start stacking them up here and see what they are. Okay. Label printer. Oh, calendar. So we got 25% of Spider-Man back issues in 1903. That'd be good. Wolverine back issues will take all the Hulks. Avengers back issues. Mm -hmm. There's some good ones in here, dude. Oh, post Yeah, so, so in the last video, we had that penguin poster. You know how many people emailed me for that one? And I started looking up on eBay. It should be like three, four hundred bucks. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Okay. You think? Yep. Kind of jars all full of toys, toys. Mm -hmm. Like some of the stuff we'll probably have to do follow-up videos. This is just stuff that we'll process at the store. Yeah, Automatic Western Hotel. Oops. <laughs> oh, Tootsie Twin. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. Not that funny. It was pretty funny. West clocks. Oh yeah, we saw those. Oh, this is a cool right here. Huh? Mm. That's a cool one. Let's see what these cards are. That's the best DC comic cards. But there's also football cards. Oh. Hockey cards. This is probably Jibba Jabba. It's all 80 stuff. Yeah. This is type of, I'm gonna go through it real quick, but it's probably something I put 10 bucks on. So this box, I'm excited. I gotta see some of these posters. I don't want to fly away. Yeah, oh, here, that's uh, cool. The Star Wars, yeah. That's pretty good. Dated 1977. So this guy, he really collected posters. So I'm going to have you put these in the back seat on top. Yeah. I'm going to go over here. Okay. That's cool. That's 1977, awesome. yeah. Original. And then just make sure we protect them, the good ones. Like, see, this is crap right here. This is just like a uh -huh. bogan ratio. But people will buy it. Huey Lewis in the news. These seem like, this is not original. This is like prints that he made. And see, like, all this stuff is always so mixed. Modern Crew, Huey Lewis. And I will separate. So, obviously, the one you want to pay attention to is the Star Wars one now. Oh, yeah. Fleetway Editions, Anderson. PSI Judge Anderson from Judge Dredd. Oh, got more one. Yeah, here he copied Star Wars. So, you know, he, I wonder if he bought originals and copied them for a store. Highly illegal, but... Right. Copyright. Minor details. Tron. That's what I was guessing, too, Tron. Now in production. The black hole. Oh, nice. That's cool. That's, that's very cool. That's probably a, a cool little piece. Probably a nice eBay piece. Repromotion Marvel Masterworks. Co op ads. Store logo. Okay, so this is a flyer that Marvel will send out. And, you know, what they do with a lot of stores, they say, hey, go buy this ad for $500. We'll pay $200 of it. Uh, Promote your store. That, they pretty, pretty much do that in all industries. Did you say she was pretty? Yeah. Aw. Nice. I see some really old cardboard on the bottom there. Oh, that next one's cool. Look at that. Yeah, this is a stand-up Star Wars. Oh yeah, like they have at the movie theaters. 
Yeah. Dated 83, proud to auto, so this is real. Very nice. 50 cents each, oh. I'll take one. No, these are all the posters. That's cool. That's it. I don't want to pull these out, but it looks like that's the poster. Pretty but it's from the one. original time period. Rocketeer. That's just a cover. I don't know if that's just a cover he took out, if it's a promotional item. Lobby cards from Saturday Night Live. Nice. I know we have hundreds of lobby cards we need to go through. These are nothing, these bloodshots. Promo covers. Uh. Don't touch it so roughly, Renee. X-Men. Display copy only. Got a new copy of desk. Graphic novel. Huh. What are these? Good art. September releases. Pre-order. Posters. Dawn of a new era. Okay, uh, you know, maybe put all that stuff underneath the truck and we'll, we'll bring separate boxes for this because I don't want it to get messed up. Okay, I'm going to so, put this one down first then. Okay, that's fine. There's a Darth Vader poster. I mean, the main one I saw that was interesting was the, that Star Wars pull-out thing. Both and uh, yeah. Both of the Star Wars. This is kind of cool too, but really rough condition. I see no dates on it, so. It looks old, but who knows. Rocketeer stand-up. Incredible Hulk right. poster. Nice. Original? Copyright 1979, Marvel Group. Dang, nice. This is... Uh, cool colors. I think this would be original. This almost looks like hand-colored. Great condition. Oh, here, be, be real careful because it's not yeah. ripped. Right here, let's see what it says. Uh, in the box, yeah. 199 TTP Con All Hulk display. And so there is... Uh, there's maybe, I'd guess, 10 of them in there. It's not this, is it? Huh? Is it this? It's 10 of the same one, yeah. Nice. So maybe he's supposed to... I mean, this guy wasn't... Here, help me Careful, out. here. here. Okay. Teamwork. <laughs> That's so, awesome. uh... This guy, this is going to be in the teaser video. So he was involved since Comic-Con and comic art things back in the 70s. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to find 60 stuff if they had it. So this actually might be a real score right here. I mean, if there's 10 in there, if these are original, these are at least 100 bucks a piece. Oh, yeah. A minimum of 100 bucks. Sure. And being the Hulk, they could be more. Yeah, nice color. No, that one put in the, in the car, I want to take that one because that's a potential okay. $1,000 box. Rocketeer, Clint Eastwood. Um, these stand-ups, go ahead, put those in the car. We'll just price those, we'll sell those. Oh, that's cool. Circus Vargas, you like that? Yeah, yeah. that one's cool. That one's yeah. cool. Yeah, really cool. If you want to, we should start collecting together to get these old circus posters I really like. That's yeah, cool. awesome. Yeah, like I like the ones like turn of the century and stuff. Okay, so here we got some signed art. Six skulls out of 1500 Dawn. Yeah, we'll take this one, because these are easy. Here we have a uh, certificate of authenticity. The Nami Forces has issued a certificate of authenticity limited edition Ultimate Marvel Universe Little Graphics one. I remember that. 690 that is signed by Art Thibert. So I've seen him on a lot of comics, but I'm not sure how popular he is. But it's an original, so that's good. Are we taking well. these two? Huh? Are we taking those two? No, just these two. Um, any of the stand ups we can take. Okay, I already got them. And here we got uh, Dawn of the Dead. Pittsburgh Comic Con exclusive. When there's no more room in hell. That's kind of weird. Jose and Howard, 17 bucks. I don't know about that one, that's weird. Yeah, it, it's dated before. Dawn of the Dead 78, character likeness. But I think that's when the movie was made. We'll leave that one. We'll take these two. Okay. Uh, that drilling noise. Actually, is take annoying. the Dawn of the Dead too. And then the rest just clean up. So that's kind of cool, huh? Mm-hmm. We'll make it. How many minutes are we? 17. 17? So see, that's what I say about these units. We just don't know what we find. I mean, a lot of the store stuff is so-so, but I mean, here, some of the stuff went in the storage in the 80s, they told me. 80s and 90s. And uh, the, what, what's the most exciting thing right now, the most potential for money, you think, so far? Ooh. Drugs. No, no. <laughs> what? Like toys for kids? No, what, what do we just look? What's the most Oh, thing? I <laughs> thought you meant in the world. If you had right now, if you want the one item research that you think is like, ma'am, it's going to make some money. Probably the Hulk. 
See, that's my girl. That's the best one. There's 10 of them in there. Even at 100 bucks a piece, that's $1,000. If they're two or 300. I thought you meant in general in the world. Drugs, <laughs> pretty much. Drugs. <laughs> Is this going? Where's this going? What was in there? Uh, the, all the toys. Uh, just put it off to the side. I don't feel like sorting in the store right now. I'm trying to get stuff that we can price fairly quick. Okay, these are all comic book bags. Just go to the store. Okay. Price back. these quick. Why is this weird kid following me with the camera? <laughs> okay, I think these are toys mainly here, but actually, it looks like comics now. Uh, That's cool. It's like five bucks a piece. These are store stickers. So let's take this because this is just going to be trash. We'll get rid of a box. And you know, at the end, so this came all from the store. So we had to take everything. We didn't have a choice to see what we wanted to take, what we didn't want to take. Bowman Football 91. Oh, yeah. You know what I just remembered? We have hundreds of wax boxes in here. Yeah. Remember that? Uh-huh. Five cents each. You have more posters, too, somewhere. No, I know there's more posters, yeah. Actually, I'm not crazy with posters, but they sell. These are Your rings. Ones are going to be good. Uh, go ahead, pack this up. We'll okay. take this. this, this, this. Let's put it, keep it in the back. Close and count is 66. That you can close up and leave back here. As long as it's not exposing to the sun, I'm putting it back in the truck. And you know, there's also a bunch of trays, I think, of sci-fi books. We need to get those because we can put those out pretty fast. Okay. Do you want me to get those out? Oh, yeah. that's cool. Most of this is probably going to be, because it's just parts. We might just make a lot out of it. Uh, yeah, take this. Okay. No, we're just going to keep on, like, we're going to, like, this is the corner back here we're going to work to. Okay. We're probably going to do, like, two or three one-hour videos. We're going to work till the trunk is done. Okay. And we'll just figure it out. This is more leaves, supplies, cover covers that keep it. So one of the things he sold in the store was a lot of these paperback books. Yeah. And they were all uh Oh. Yeah, so he, he got like all you know the sci-fi ones. The I have like Narnia ones that like look that. Yeah, like those that. are cool, but these are a lot older here. Mm-hmm. So we'll take these, we'll go through these, we'll put them in the store when I have sense. Oh yeah, he has a lot of westerns. You know. War Chief, the man from Uncle, Goldfinger. Back to the Stone Age. You know, this stuff sells great. Yeah, this is stuff we literally never opened in like two years. First presents. Rock history. Oh, that's cool. It's dated 1952. Oh. Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's uh. Oh no, that he's, it's rock and roll history, Billboard magazine. Hmm. Hmm. And this is, oh. How the West was won. And that was the guy's store, Gar Gary's bookstore. I guess it's been on a lot of videos. Oh, these are cool. Those are way cool. 1979, or 1972, visit Metropolis, home of Superman. Put that somewhere in front where it cannot get bent. Look at the other ones that you have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here. Live Long and Prosper Star Trek, 1993. A lot newer, but still, um, we'll take it. Oh, Certificate oh, oh. time. Okay, I need to put something on top of this. Hold on. You know, we'll just, here, just put it back in this box. We'll take this whole box. They're probably protected the best way in here. Oh, look at the old Uno cards. Yeah, and it's unfortunately not worth anything. Yeah, but it's cool. Charged red. Oh, yeah. Contains a gift certificate redeemable for Robin Deluxe Collector Set. There's a lot of pins in here. Hockey club, hockey clubs, Star Wars. See, I mean, it's just a lot of money in these things there. Okay, put this back together and put the stickers on top. Okay. So nothing can happen with stickers. Okay. Actually, you know what? To protect the stickers, put them inside this yellow thing right here. Right here. These stickers, I will try to put on eBay right away. These Superman stickers gotta be at least 20 bucks a piece. Yeah, too long, but good enough. Yeah. Good enough. Okay. Okay, books, we'll take all the books because those will process fast. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is 
next time you come film me, we actually can film inside the unit. What is this bag doing? Uh, right. I don't even know what it is. Just right. put it off to the side. More books, Lord Tetric. Lord Tetric. Star Trek stuff down there. Space Pirates. I don't know, we'll check these out. You know what, I'm also gonna check some of these might be signed editions. Oops. 40 car carry case. Wow. Matchbox. I've never seen that one. Uh, uh, Snoopy car. This look actually like they're all Matchbox car. I don't see any red lines. We do it. Yeah, they're all a little bit rough condition. This is, ah, here's a red line. There you go. That's a good one. Actually, I still have a couple of hundred red lines I need to put on eBay. Eh. Huh? No. no. I, I don't know. Uh, close it up, we'll take that. Cool case. Yeah. The case is cool, yeah. So I see comic boxes here on the side. I don't just know if there's an awesome thing thinking of. These are uh, life magazines down here. Some parts, we'll take that. Seal it up. Moss Division Collector Cards, Premier Edition, one complete set. That's this is probably cool. good. And then we have Far Side Books. Some comp. Ooh, this is good. This is good. Wolverine number one. It's, nice. It's, it's, so it's part of a four part series they did, but that's, uh, I think this is like 40, 50 bucks put in the front side. That's a four part series. There was one on the floor and it had Wolverine on it. Tops promo. Um, it has to be those covers. So that's four that are really. Yeah, it was that cover. So cool These are backs. They packed this up for me. How many minutes is the video? 25. Okay, so after this box, let's stop it. All right. I'll do another one. Win a 1980 Alley Ward. Cerebus. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, so this is this is some kind of advertising thing where you order your copies, but this is from the 1980s, so this is, what, 39 years old? Yeah. Superman, the complete story of daring exploits of the one and only Superman collector series. Oh, these are postcards, I think. Oh. Here's a lot of them. But, you know, people will pay a few dollars, maybe five bucks in the store. It's just early Superman stuff that's not that expensive. Sticker album. That is nothing. It's trash. Some old cards. What are these? We saw America. Oh, we salute American heroes. That's good. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. What's the date on there? 2001 is a new one. Yeah. But it's a promo, a prom. Oh, that's still cool. At least 10 bucks. Oops. Uh, Fold this upright. It's five bucks. Huh? <laughs> now it's five bucks. No, it's not ripped. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them in here, by the way. <laughs> that's great. Like, nothing he had was like one or two. It's always like a bunch. But this is store inventory. Okay, put all this back together and we'll take this box. Stop the video now? Uh, yeah, stop it. Bingo. Okay, Dustin, let's get these three boxes right here on the tailgate just to get them out of our way. Because okay. I see a bunch of comic boxes. I don't know if those are the boxes, but we'll look. Let's see what's in here really quick. Star Wars comics, pens, more autographed comics. This is newer stuff. That was a cool Pop Tart picture. Pop Tart? Yeah, on the it, back, oh, there was like an advertisement. Transformers. Okay, we'll just take this box. This is newer stuff. We'll probably have to bag it more. Okay. That's more autographed stuff. Uh, let's see what's in here. Computer games, books. Camera. This is stuff we'll just go through with price. But not exciting. So I'm not showing you guys stuff that's, and, and you know, there might be stuff. So if something really killer comes out, I might do another video of highlights or I'll put it in. But to be honest, that's just, oh, here we go. <laughs> that's just so much stuff. 
I got trapped. Yeah, no. <laughs> so these are a little bit newer, but I mean, it's 79. Good condition. All back and boarded, ready to go. They look cool. Fantastic yeah. Force, Daredevils, Eternal Champions, Batman Detective. Nice. Let's just see what I see. So, Inhumans number nine. Humans number 12. I mean, all these are like, you know, at least, uh, I mean, my so minimum are two bucks, but a lot of the stuff is good. Yeah, so many comics. It's okay. Fantastic Force, X-Men. Uncanny X-Men. This is like X-Men. It's, it's not super old. This is like, you know, 65 cents stuff. So it's like early 80s, maybe. Still, I mean, it's still good. A lot of people will want this. Oh, yeah. Incredible Hulk, number one, and the Wolverine. X-Men stuff, X-Men, Uncanny X-Men. So, uh, yeah, you gotta go through. I'll go through these a little bit better in the store. Since it's hot out here, 180, 174, 173, it's all X-Men. I mean, it's all X-Men, that stuff sells fast. That's a cool cover. Phoenix. This right here? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's when it becomes dark. No, it can't, yeah, for Dark Phoenix, you're right, yeah. yeah. For Star Phoenix, there we go. And these are 1980, 1979. So yeah, this is a great box. So this box, uh, I don't know what's in here. Let's say these are gonna average at about five bucks a piece. How many books are in here, you think? 100? Over 100. Yeah, five, 500 hollow box, guys. Yeah, it might be close to 200. So now it's gonna be, because we see boxes here, so. I thought they were a little bit deeper, but these go all the way deep. So we're just gonna start boxing some. Maybe we'll put some boxes in front and then pull the stuff forward. But let's just. Uh, Do you want me to grab some boxes so you can? Yeah, bring a few up here, and the lid is right there on top of this one. Oi. We'll just see what kind of stuff we see. He keeps on like standing in front of me. Sorry, Star Wars. Star Wars fifty nine. Uh, in this number 60, there's actually one close. I forgot which number it was. It has the Boba, uh, Boba Fett. It's like 14. Or something. No, that's, that's, that's obviously number one is good. And then there's also, these are all Conans. There's one that's like in a 50, 60 range. That's a really good cover. Oh, you're right. These are all Conans. But they're all 12, uh, 60 centers right here. Or your Star Wars 69, Star Wars 72, Indiana Jones 2, Star Wars. I mean, not, uh, not killer stuff that I see right now, but... Jimmy Olsen, but, but, oh, Incredible Hulk, 300, Incredible Hulk, 181, I wish, I already have a 181 at home, but if, you know what, like, we find all the secret was, how cool would it be, because he has just, like, stacks of stuff that he got ordered, and this is not too far away from the time period, this Robotech stuff is newer, how cool would it be if you just pull up, and he's like, oh, yeah, straight for Marvel, stack of 50 of those, yeah, exactly, mint condition, number one, Captain Savage, number one, And you, you know, before anybody comments, I'm handling them way too rough. Uh, demon number four, that's cool. Um, these been sitting like this for years, so relax. Relax, my people. Where's oh, another Captain Savage number one? Probably decent. Disney. See, these are, I like these oh, Disney books. Yeah. The Man Called Nova number one. I know that's a little bit better. Yeah, that's good. Submariner 28. 60, Submariner number 8, a 12 cent, beautiful cover. Nice. That's Submariner number 4, couple, number 11, 11, okay. Cool box. Cool box. Another $500 here at least. Uh, the lid for that one is up there, will you get it up? Huh. Let's see what's back here. Spider-Man's. So like I said, a lot of this stuff is a store inventory, but I think there was some stuff for uh, Savage number one. It's a whole, co it's like three copies of it. Son of Satan number one. Oh, that's what I've seen, man. Bunch. <sighs> it's a whole bunch of number ones. See, like I said, I mean, it's like 10 copies at least. Number Son of Satan number one. Wow. Omak One Man Army, you've never heard of him. Jack Kirby copy book interviews, but all these are all number one issues here, it's great. I'll take it. <coughs> uh, that would be nice. It's a uh, student's reference work. So here, we'll put these separate. Just put these off. To, actually, you can put them out there. Stack them on top. And we'll leave this box in case some of the... Uh, like some of these books, if, if they're packed too tight, we can instead of having to shove them in. These are alien comics. Oh, that's cool. 
Yeah, they're probably yeah. not. They're probably gonna go to the dollar ninety nine section. So cool though. Yeah. By the way, sometimes people say, "Oh, dollar ninety nine, nobody buys those comics." I can't get enough comics in my store. They always sell. Every day we sell comics. So I'm getting ready to do another ten, twenty thousand comic book release. Uh, Esquire, welcome back to the forties. Nice. Ghost Rider, eighteen. That's cool, right? These there. creepy magazines are cool. We actually have a bunch of these, and I just found out that a lot of them are worth money. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ghost Rider, Green Lantern, Conan, ooh, Venom, number one, the Lethal Protector, put these in my front seat, these need to go in bags, G.I. Joe's, oh, <laughs> this is another box of Yasagi Yojimbo, all autographed, it's like he has like every issue autographed. I've been selling these for 10 bucks a piece pretty steadily. There's at least 115 here, 115 dollars. Put this in the floor in there. And then close up this box right here. You want this in the front? Yeah, in the front. These are um, old books. Oh, that's Coronet, 1947. These are cool. That's cool. So we'll take these. Probably worth some money. They have nice covers, so. Of at least two, three books a piece. Here, put all this stuff, uh, these comics in here. So we're gonna use this as an overflow box. Okay. See, I knew I saw some better comic books here. They weren't just standard. I mean, we haven't found a killer book yet, at least not that I noticed, but I know we have it in here. Maybe another box. Uh, I want that box on top of the ride with the Batman cards, the whole thing. Let me move over. So these are the file magazines. I had a lot of these. I sold a lot of these to my friend Robert. I think he sells them on eBay for like 10, 15 bucks a piece. Uh, these will just go in my store. We'll probably do like three, four bucks a piece. I don't want to list them online because I sold them to other ones. So I don't want to compete with them. He can have the whole world market. We take the local market. That's cool. Power of Faith. Or these, it's just stuff that he did, like different arts. Oh, like it the Bible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some stuff. Decent. Just cool stuff. Uh, so we have hundreds of boxes like this. Batman Forever. <laughs> Nice. Batman. <laughs> I am the Batman. Batman. Andy Griffith Show. So all this stuff goes to the store. I love the Andy Griffith Show. These are usually crap. Know. It's okay. 91 Baseball. Uh, what was this? The American Thermos. If you guys see stuff you want to buy, you can always email me. But I pretty much get eBay prices, so we check the stuff first. So if you're not willing to pay that, save yourself the time. This is cool. What is this, like Bonanza or something? Or... Just Western, it's pretty cool. Whitman's Flare 91. The original. Mm -hmm. yeah. So these little toys, we'll leave these here right now. Okay. But let's go ahead and take uh, Cloth Starch 12 pounds that weight. That's not what it is, is it? Old box. Let's go ahead and take all. Uh, it hey, will take this stuff. Uh, I just checked that, didn't I? Yeah. It's empty. Uh -huh. Oh, it's cats. I mean, I just got a little recollected everything. So, so you want these to stay, right? We stay this box, but we'll take all these. Just put them in the front seat. Okay. So let's move a couple of these top boxes, and then we'll get to some more comic book boxes. Old camera. Number 120, use film. Uh, it's the front of this. Oh, that's cool. We have these in the store, too. Mm-hmm. Oops. Accordion. This is really messed up. It's melted down. Somebody will buy it for, like, 10 bucks just for parts. Here, just put these in a box up there somewhere. I don't want to force it right now. This feels like another stand. It's like high box. Bam! How badass is that? That's another 150 comics. Note is all autographed. I'm going to be in the Stan Sakai comic book business <laughs> autographed issue. Actually, I'm going to put a bunch of these on eBay because now I'm getting, I mean, I have a lot of them. We'll just do $9.99 and shipping will probably be like, we'll do priority mail like eight bucks, but you can ship as many as you want to get a one time $8 fee. But we'll just like 20 different ones. There's another box up there. Huh? There's another box on the target. Oh, okay. Comics? Yeah. I keep this. This goes up front. 
Is this fun, Nana? Yeah. E every box is money. Every box is college classes, baby girl. That's why daddy does it, so you can go to college. Well, like, I'm thinking funny things, like, about the creeped out. Like, I would bring, like, a child from that age and, like, bring them to the movie theaters to watch Annabelle. And, like, that. Why, why would you do that? I'll show them what creeped out really looks like. These all flash. That sounds very sadistic, girl. <laughs> So basically, you're gonna torture a little child from somewhere else. Yes. Here's Spider Man 261. Marvel thing. Thing. These loose ones are usually not that good, but let's see what's here. 205, 207s. Again, stacks of stuff, so you just gotta find the right issues. 191. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have, okay, that's enough, so I'm gonna have your boxes up in a second. And we're gonna keep, we're gonna take this box of comics. We'll go through this. This will be part for the next release. We'll try to get like 10,000 comics ready for the next release. 103s. But the condition on these, that's what's all amazing. 239, that's a beautiful cover. Marvel Tales. Black Widow, Marvel Team Up. Human Torch, Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man! Spider-Man, Let's see what the stuff he put in bags, but didn't board. Machine Man number 13. Whole stack number 14. Hopefully it's a good one. It's all Machine Man. I don't know. I mean, whatever. I mean, okay, put this back together. It'll, it'll definitely sell at $1.99. But, you know, I hope, oh, you're right. Hopefully it's more. These are all vintage cards. Tops, chewing gum. I don't know what this is. 8K. These look like some sort of monsters, devils. Uh, Maybe these it's like are Ch Charlie's name. Angels. Yeah, you do the alphabet. Yeah, like if your name starts with like T. These are Marvel cards, Doctor Doom, Those 1976. I have a whole bunch of 1966. Yeah, this is a nice little. I like these. They're cool looking. I sell these for ten bucks a piece usually. It's a nice box. It's a couple hundred bucks here. Oops, just because those were so good, you know, and they like to make Renee happy. <laughs> Here's another two hundred bucks. Oh no, Charlie's Angels? Okay. Nope. Okay, here we go. Dracula, Daredevil. Dracula. Thor. Okay, put these on my Morbius. front seat. Huh? Morbius, I think. Morbius. It's that Dracula on one of them on the corner. Uh, I can't read. Can you? I don't need I don't need your correction. <laughs> can't really pronounce either. <laughs> no, there's more Marvel stickers. Okay, well that's good. This little tray right here is at least five hundred bucks. Front seat. Yep. Here we have Conan trading cards, 1988. Wolverine, 1988. What company? This is, doesn't seem to regulate. Sure. Marvel Entertainment Group, 1988, Wolverine, by Comic Images. Okay. Not familiar with those, but they seem to be sealed sets, so that's good. These say Flash Gordon. It's just it. Oversized kitchen sink cards. I don't see a date on these. Uh, 1988, so they're probably not that good. These are all kitchen thing cards. Eh. Interesting box, you know. Should be hopefully 100 bucks in here. Paul, let's get caught up with everything first. Uh, take this. Okay. Where's this going? We're, we're just going to take it. Okay. So a lot of this stuff, we just have to look. Oh, this is a good one. We have to look online. It's all old ads. You protect them really well. Yeah, I know he was really into this. Uh, That's the stuff I do. Hold on a second. Let me read this one. Uh, Company Telegram. 66. 1966. How badass are these? This is just a teaser of one of the upcoming videos. Should be in the next couple of videos. I told you guys this had a guy at a store in the 70s, 80s, 90s. It says advertising posters. Copyright 1979. Marvel Comic Group, and I probably roughly there's 15 to 20 in here, and the colors are super rich. And this poster, so what do you think is this size wise? 16 by 12 or so? No, it's more than that. 24 by 16. I don't think so big. Would you like a tape measure? Yeah, right bring here. a tape measure real quick. What was your guess? There you go. I got one. Okay, just measure along. Don't just measure across on the cardboard. Yeah. So roughly. 23. 23 by 16 then. 